Hello, I'm PI187. <clears throat> I want to thank you for clicking on my channel. And I'm sure from the title you know what we're about to do. We're going to do some reacting to some Chris Rebby, Webby Raw Thoughts 4. I don't believe there's a video for 3. I couldn't find it, so that's why I'm jumping right to 4. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't want to do it, but I feel like I got to. Good morning, America. Time to get to waking up. We never all at once been confronted with so much crazy stuff. We should be able to find the truth, but they make it tough. You think the news would tell you, but most of that they've been making up. For anyone who's good, there's a John Wilkes booth. All the Jedi's lying dead while the Sith grow roots. And if you try to speak the truth, they'll Anthony Bourdain you hang you and use suicide to explain you we don't all need to agree but how can you not see there's an elite and they fucking everyone like you and me that ain't race color or creed it's predatory greed and if we don't unite this might not be the land of the free for much longer rights getting stripped real fast while we fight each other because they want us just like that we so divided by race religion color and class now it's who doesn't doesn't motherfucking wear a mask and the virus is real but it's seeming like they planned it the way they're using it yeah, it does seem like they planned it, doesn't it? You ever think of this? I don't know. With all the shit coming out about COVID, does it ever make you really start to wonder about AIDS? You know? Like, because we didn't have the internet back in the 80s, so, you know, we only just believed whatever the fuck the news told us. But I don't think we all knew the news was fucking full of shit. So, you sit there and now you think back how much of, you know, has this media been lying to you your entire life? And then you go back thinking, of course, you know, if it came out of some fucking, you know, lab or something, they would have never told us, you know? But if you think about who had it the most... And who it seemed to be targeting kind of seems like it might have been man-made. I don't know. Could be wrong. But it, uh, after everything we found out about COVID, it just seems a little fishy. Yeah, and they're definitely pushing the, pushing the race shit nowadays. Wear a mask and the virus is real, but it's seeming like they planned it. The way they're using it to their political advantage. I don't claim to have the answers, but I'm telling you what. Bill Gates is mad sus. Sketchy as fuck. 2020 been some shit. Fucking life got crazy. Bunch of trolls looking for someone to type at angry. Y'all just hate on everybody. It's just like that lately. I got an auntie named Karen. She's a nice ass lady. And I thought I was a liberal for most of my life. But hold Holy Christ, you fucking lefties have been colder than ice. And I can't believe I'm saying it. Honestly, I hate the shit, but I got more in common with Trump supporters and Reaganists than fake woke bums canceling everyone. We say one thing y'all don't like and our fucking career's done. No more open dialogue or conversation at all. No debate or discussion. What can I say? I'm appalled. Because if we're not allowed to talk or fucking have an opinion without you sensitive bitches and forcing public crucifixions, then we're all fucked. So this is me speaking my piece. Shit, I would go down shooting for my freedom of speech. And that's the first two one amendments loaded in one clip aiming at this broke political system we're stuck with they got all our phones tapped so let them listen to this y'all recording suck my motherfucking dick bitch Joe Biden, you dementia-ridden, geriatric, evil puppet, piece of dog shit, old lying son of a bitch. Do y'all really think he's the answer? They gotta pump him full of drugs so we can speak on a uh, camera. On, and this dumb boomer Chuck Schumer calling the shots. Saw him pull up just the other day and park in the lot. Went to say hi and realized that this guy is such a fucking pussy that he wore a fucking N95 while he drives. And Pelosi, that evil golden girl with her cronies, Alan Omar and AOC, all of you can blow me and Tell me that doesn't make you laugh, though, every time you see it. 
Every time you're sitting there driving and you look over and you see someone sitting in a car by themselves with their mask on, I literally laugh in my car, but to myself, like, out loud, like, what the fuck are you doing? But I guess some people are forced to wear them at work. I do get that. And I imagine if you wear the fucking thing for eight hours a day, it's probably not hard after work to go out, get in your car, and not even realize you're fucking wearing the shit anymore. If you wear it all day. Now, if you're one of these just these people that, you know, feels that every time they leave the fucking house, they need to wear a mask, maybe they just shouldn't leave their house. Because it's, uh... It's not that bad. Like. Yeah, people were really insane about the shit. The media really, really, really fucking pushed it on people. Golden girl with her cronies, Alan Omar and AOC, all of you can blow me, and Kamala Harris too, I'll run a train on the whole fucking crew, no Scott Wiener, not including you, weird shit going on, I mean, Epstein just lame, missing kids, adrenochrome, I don't know, I'm just saying, I just keep my shit 100%, so if you doubt me, you must be getting your statistics from Anthony Fauci, and Bernie sold out, he supported Joe and Hillary, after they stole the primary from him, you must be kidding me, Bernie, I used to fuck with you, where's your fucking intent? Integrity. Can't go from standing for something to standing with the enemy. Well, fuck you, Chris. Now that's enough of yeah. the blue. Let's get to aiming at the red. Someone bring in Ted Cruz. You're just so damn punchable. Borderline fully unlovable. Even your daughter avoids hugging you. Who else? Mike Pence, who's obsessed with his wife. So I consensually had sex with her twice the other night. Told me she ain't had the dick in weeks. So I fucked her on your pile of Bibles, Mike. She really is a religious freak. That is just completely inappropriate. Mitch McConnell. You are the literal definition of not having a face for television. Please wear a mask. Keep that fucking shit hidden. You look like a guy who shouldn't be in the presence of children. Wait, did someone say children? Easy does it, Bill. You and Hillary chill. Justice is coming for you still. Because one day the world will see the truth. That's a bet. <laughs> one day's here now, I think. I'm pretty sure. What's this, two years, three years old? That's all it took. And the day has come for poor Bill Clinton. I just hope I'm here to see it and you ain't murdered me yet. And see, then there's Donald Trump. This motherfucker been all one. A chance to say the right thing, he goes and says the wrong one. When there's a chance to unite us, he instead divides us even more with the stupid shit that he says. And I can't stand it. His environmental policy makes George fucking W look like he's Captain Planet. Rolling regulations back, setting back clean air and water roll to put big business on a better track. While the animals suffer, so do we. The rich save a little money while they poison you and me. So Jesus, is he the lesser or greater of two evils? Or is he really trying to drain the swamp and help the people? Ask me, I don't even fucking know anymore. I feel like every politician's just a pawn on the board. Trump and Biden alike. So until I stand corrected, I'll be saying fuck every politician that's been elected. And the truth hurts, but fuck... Yeah, I kind of... I get what he's saying. It depends on which media he was he was watching back in the day. And like he said, he was a, he was a lefty. That's kind of slowly shifted over. <clears throat> and that's what happened with me, myself. Um, I had way more of the, the left, but, you know, I was younger, too. So I think you kind of grow out of it. Um, as you mature, you start to see that a lot of the liberal shit's fucking stupid. It's, it's all just really focused at the young people, I guess. And so when you're not that young anymore, you don't really see the, and well, maybe they just weren't as bad before either. Like they're, they're literally gone fucking cuckoo now with, with all this fucking, you know, diversity shit, fucking LGBTQS123 bullshit. And it's just the, and them fucking the shit they're doing in schools and like 
there is no way you could fucking after ha like I don't even know how anybody can fucking stay with them after all that shit. But there are people that still fucking back up their shit and sit there and will scream and yell at you and call you a fucking a bigot and a racist and a fucking colonizer and all kinds of things. Something else I noticed too. If you notice the left side does a lot more attacking of the right side than the right side does of the left side. Like that's a fact. Because like I said. I used to be on the left side or I was mainly getting all my fucking information from them at least anyway. And the way they attacked Trump every single day on every single television show, news station, fucking late night talk show, comedy special, it didn't fucking matter if it had something to do with fucking Hollywood or the media. They were literally attacking him on every fucking front. So they were trying to get as many people as they possibly could to fucking hate him. And it's all I was seeing, like everything. Like I'd be on my phone, going through my news feed. Boom, Trump this, Trump this, Trump this, Trump this, Trump this. Nothing good. Nothing good ever. And then you go on fucking TV, on the news same fucking shit. Just fucking attack, 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 attack. And literally brainwash an entire country to believe all the bullshit. As as you can see, obviously, he is right here. He's not sure where he's at. He's kind of on the fence at this point by the sounds of it. Um, but you don't see them like, sure... You know, you have them talking shit, like some people talking shit about Biden and here and there, but it's nothing. It's nothing compared to the assault they put on Trump. Like, they fucking impeached him. They fucking pulled out the fake Russia shit. Fucking, like, they did everything under the sun they could do to make, fucking to try to get rid of him. To make everybody hate him. And, you know, it worked in, in, to, for a lot of people. Like, it worked for me. I fucking despise the fucking guy. Like, and then, thank God I got away from that media. And I started seeing stuff that, like... Because you know how people like to, like, clip shit and shorten it out or take things out of context? That's what they do. They do a lot of that shit where you'll see a video of him saying this or a video of this happening and then they... They put this, t like, whatever behind it, or title, or whatever, their, their bullshit story behind it. And if you sit there and fall for it, you're like, whoa, what the fuck? You know what I mean? You're, 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 you would think he's the worst person on the fucking planet. But then, you go and you see, like, the actual footage. And you're like, that's, so that's not what really happened. And I've seen that happen so many times. And I'm sure a lot of people still kind of know but because they're so stuck on one fucking side, no matter what information comes out, they're not going to change their mind. But that's not me. I, I I go where the fucking info tells me. Like, if it's saying this, then that's that. And, like, I know it's not a popular opinion to say that, you know, Trump wasn't lying. And, you know, because, like I said, like, you could, you could find a... Like, I live here in Canada, and you could easily find a hundred people that hated Trump, but it was really hard to find one person who liked Trump. So, not to say there wasn't any, but it was just... It's just how the media had it set up to have most people fucking despise him. So, I kind of get where Chris Webby's coming from here. Um, but yeah. Stop talking here. Save a little money while they poison you and me. So, geez, is he the lesser or greater of two evils? Or is he really trying to drain the swamp and help the people? Ask me? I don't even fucking know anymore. I feel like every politician's just a pawn on the board. Trump and Biden alike. So until I stand corrected, I'll be saying fuck every politician that's been elected. And the truth hurts, but fuck it, man. Ignorance is worse. Even Google's in on it. I can't trust my own search. They treat us like the sheep. They're the wolves in the dark. I'm playing with our lives and our minds and our hearts. We've been living in the matrix, losing our direction. 
evil algorithms altering all our perceptions so what the fuck do i know and what the fuck do you should we all just confuse trying to find what's true so i never say i'm right about everything that i said not telling you to agree don't really want people dead but fuck this shit been so messed up for so long and my only way to process it is put it in a song because all i got some paper with a pen and mic and my fucking first amendment right tell them again like all i got some paper with a pen and mic and my fucking first amendment right raw thoughts you have two new messages uh, hey chris it's joe biden uh, listen, man, I, uh, it, I wanted to, uh, uh, wait, who did I call again? I, is anyone there? Hello? Jill? Aw, oh, damn it, Jill, how do I use this stupid phone? Next message. Hey, Chris, Trump here. Donald Trump, the president. Anyways, I heard your song. Terrible stuff. Really <laughs> terrible. I think it's tremendously important that I remind you that I, Donald Trump, am probably... Most likely, but definitely probably, the best president we've ever had in this country. And you're just a loser rapper recording songs in his basement, okay? Now, I will admit, the line about having sex with Pence's wife was actually pretty funny, though. Uh, sir, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, sorry, Mike. I forgot you were standing right next to me. Anyways, God bless America. My America. Raw thoughts, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, that was kind of funny at the end. I like that. Oh, well, my raw thoughts on that is I can see how he's went from one side to the other slowly as these songs have progressed. And, but I can see they're also years old and, you know, yeah, the, it's really changed over the years though, too. Like, the one side's just gotten, like, so fucking fucked up radical bullshit but yeah and him the thing where he's talking about like you know draining the swamp for instance that's another thing like the media fucking played that off like you know like he was going in there and getting rid of all the people that obviously need to be getting rid of you know they were either weren't doing their job or they were corrupt or whatever the case was they probably just shouldn't have been there and he went in there and just fucking wiped the floor with them. But, like, if you were sitting on the media side of the libs, um, they made it sound like he was just going in and firing everybody who, who disagreed with anything he said, basically. And the reality is, if that was the case, he would have probably fired Fauci. Um... Oh yeah, and they made it like they made it look so like they made it look like he was constantly gonna fire Fauci. And uh it was like it's just unreal to think where your mindset is at that like when you're thinking that way and then, then your fucking brain does a whole flip flop and now you just see everything so much differently. It's fucking it's it's really messed up. But and I hope I'm actually seeing things right now. I hope I'm not, like, I just haven't been brainwashed by the other side. But the reality is, it's, uh, I don't think that's the case. I think I was brainwashed before. Because, like, I, I, all the media were pushing that shit. And like I said before, you know, my, my, my thought process was, if all the media is saying something, it must be true. But... I didn't really know they were all being controlled by basically the same person and all in cahoots to basically, you know, push their narrative. So I still, I still think they, uh, I still think Trump's going to win the next presidency, 2024. Um, I know they're trying to, like, cancel them out of fucking states and shit. I don't think that's going to work. If anything, it's just going to probably give him more more of a push. Because people be like, look, they're attacking him for what reason? Why are they doing this? Like, yeah, I think Bill Burr was right when, when he said, you know, if they had to left him alone, he'd probably, probably be a lot better. And it's probably true. I, 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 it kind of seems like every time they do something to him, 
he just gets stronger. Like he thrives in chaos. So, um, I'm pretty sure he's got this. But anyhow, yeah, I like that video. Um, I like the whole series of these uh, raw thoughts. They're pretty good. I can see why the guy told me I need to watch them all in order because... Uh, yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you're going backwards. He'd go from basically fucking from the fucking right to the fucking left if you're watching it backwards instead of going left to right. But yeah, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. Like, subscribe, comment. Have, have yourself a good one. Bye for now.